How you doing? I'm Storm Track 8 Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown. If you have outdoor activities tonight, make sure you drink plenty of water, wear lightweight clothing, and take frequent breaks in the shade. Some of those outdoor events include Symphony on the Prairie and the IBE Music Heritage Festival outside there. So tonight, if you're outdoors, 7, 8 p.m., we're still very warm temperatures in the 90s. It will feel like the triple digits falling down into the 80s tonight. By 9 p.m., we're at 84 degrees, and then overnight in the upper 70s. It's still very warm in the overnight hours for us tonight and to start your day tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we bring the heat once again as temperatures start out in the 70s. We're already in the 80s by 9 a.m., so if you're headed out for that early morning walk of the dog or taking a walk yourself, just know you'll feel the heat early and by afternoon, we're talking some of the warmest air of the year so far. Temperatures in the mid-90s, but it will feel like the triple digits for most of the afternoon. The peak heating of the day between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m., we have an excessive heat warning out for our area through Sunday at 8 p.m. My concern here when we're talking about this excessive heat warning is the heat index values from 105 to 110. That's what it will feel like to you. This is through 8 p.m. on Sunday. Now, when you combine heat and humidity, it's very easy. You can quickly get a heat-related illness. So just make sure that you stay safe out there this weekend. Uh, looking ahead to the temperature trend for you as we talk about Saturday's numbers. 70s very early. Uh, we quickly warm to the 80s there by late morning. Uh, the mid 90s there, if you look at the temperature trend around the area, already in the 90s from Kokomo uh, to Columbus at 4 p.m. and staying there through about 7 p.m. before those temperatures begin to fall for you. Here's the temperature trend on Sunday. Sunday's a little different because Sunday is the day we've kind of been waiting for. The cold front approaches the area, and as it approaches ahead of it, a few isolated showers and thunderstorms out there. Now, some of the storms could become strong and severe. We're talking heavy downpours of rain, frequent lightning, and that severe threat. The gusty winds that are possible with this system that could become damaging in some areas. These storms are very isolated on Sunday uh, at noon, already seeing that chance of an isolated storm. But the strongest storms really happening in the afternoon to evening hours for areas along and mainly north of Interstate 70. So prepare for uh, heavy rain and wind. By the time we get to Monday morning, a few lingering showers possible. So here it is, Futurecast, our forecasting model. You notice Sunday morning dry, Sunday afternoon, there you go, ahead of the cold front. Those are the showers and even more thunderstorm activity during the evening hours. So we'll get in on some wet weather here uh, for your Sunday. All right, so the temperature trend for you next week, much better. Lingering showers on Monday, temperatures in the upper 70s. A great week next week. Your Chapman heating and cooling eight day forecast. It's so great. I had a difficult time picking the pick of the week because every day is fantastic. But I'm going with Tuesday because of sunshine and plenty of it. We're at 80 degrees, feeling fantastic. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're still mostly sunny and dry, but a slight warming trend takes us back to the mid to upper 80s as we head into next weekend.